basically what I want to share was uh, one of the ways that I explain to people what uh, entheogen psychedelics are capable of just to give them a give them an appreciation just on the physical realm what they're able to reveal to you when it comes to the world around us right because basically America's war on drugs and pre-71 with Nixon and stuff America's war on hemp and other psychedelics and entheogens um, for the last hundred years or so has been a basically a, a war on consciousness and it's been a war on a higher perspective right on a different level of thought of analysis that has been taken out of the human dialogue discourse right so just imagine if you were not and we haven't been if we haven't been able to discuss different perspectives on different things that are happening in the world right and one of the analogies i use for this is basically i i tell people to imagine themselves walking through a cornfield right and i'm not sure if any of you guys have ever walked through a cornfield i have doing uh, during my geophysics years <laughs> i've tr trekked around many different terrains right and one of the most difficult terrains to get your bearings on is walking through a cornfield okay now if you ever get the opportunity uh, try this out really try this out when the season's starting when corn starts growing have a walk through a cornfield where, where when the corn is low down where you can when you stand up the corn is not above your eye line above your head right and go there on a weekly basis and just have a little walk through the cornfield and what you're going to notice is the corn the plants are going to slowly grow slowly grow and as long as you're above the corn you see the fields sometimes are you know rolling fields with with little hilltops and stuff like this right and it's beautiful and you have your bearings you know where everything is and once the corn starts growing higher right a little bit above your eyesight then you don't get that horizon view so for you to be able to see where you're going because everything is homogenous everything looks the same you're in a cornfield right what you end up doing is jumping up a little bit and looking above the cornfields just to make sure you go in the right direction if you're trying to go in a certain direction right but what happens with the corns is they grow a lot higher right they usually grow way way above someone's height right so there comes a point where even when you jump up you can't see past the canopy i guess of the corn plants right and once that happens and in a cornfield there's a lot of mosquitoes so once that happens all of a sudden you realize that you really don't know which way you were intent on going because corn fields some fields you walk into they're not necessarily all straight lines they meander right so when the corns are planted they meander like this so you really can't look down the row and see a road or a, a house or a barn or anything like this and unless there's something growing something really high up in the horizon like a cell tower or something like this you really lose your bearings and what you end up doing there when that happens the first thing you want to do is make sure you're walking in an incline that way you get to a place where you're on a hilltop and once you're on a hilltop you can park the cornfields and get a perspective of where you are that is the power of entheogens that is the power of a higher perspective because what that allows you to do what entheogens and psychedelics and altered states of being and they don't necessarily have to be entheogens and psychedelics they could be meditating for a number of years right it could be any number of things right all of a sudden you get the lay of the land and you get to see where certain paths certain pathways will lead you that is the power of entheogens and it allows you to do that and that's sort of uh, 
an analogy I use when I talk to people regarding uh, regarding these things okay